Hey everyone, how's it going? So I got some stuff today in the mail, or yesterday actually. One of them is these magnets. They're for to repair the uh, the glove box door on my Volkswagen 2002 Volkswagen Jetta fourth generation. Um, and they're just a couple of magnets with screws there. A large screw, torque screwdriver T15, magnet assembly top, and disc with screw. So and it comes with instructions. I mean, it's very simple. Open the glove box door, remove the top left rubber bump, blah, 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 remove that, remove the mag, put the magnets, blah, 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 blah. I'll show you. But anyway, this is what they are. Come packaged very well. They were 20 bucks. Neat little package says, blah, blah, blah. Ardor Iguez Corp. Whatever. And little tubes they come in. So what they are is part of this screws to your glove box and part of it screws to the to the dash and it just holds the glove box shut. These are really really strong. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to take you off the tripod here and take you in the car. Let's go clean it off a bit. Okay, hold on. Doing some stuff here. This You'll see another video on that. So what happens is, it's a very common problem with these these this generation of Jetta. I don't I don't know about other generations. It could be the glove box latch breaks. It's not so much the latch; it's the mechanism inside. What I did was temporarily screwed this thing on here to hold it shut because it kept falling. The person that I bought it from had Velcro there. You can see it holds, but it falls down. Now what's normally here are some rubber things that stick out, and they just stop this from slamming and rattling around when the thing is holding it. Well, now what normally holds it are these little, see these holes here, there's supposed to be little things that come out and catch inside of there. You can see. So they don't work and there's no way to take this glove box door apart. It's like one molded unit that's sealed. So the cheapest I found for the entire glove box mechanism was like $200. The doors go for about $100. These magnets were 20. So that's what I'm going to do. It's a pretty common, common thing. Um, so I'm going to stop the camera here. I'll go back, get what I need to put them on and, and be right back and show you. All right. So just hold on a second here. All right. That's about as good as I can get it for now. So what I'm going to do is take off this temporary thing I put there to hold it shut. Then take one of the long ended screws. You get two of these per side. One of them has a longer screw and the short one has a shorter screw. The longer screw goes in here. The shorter one goes in the glove box door. So you don't want the long one here. It'll poke right through. So these shoes should screw right in there. And they do. Now let's do the one same over on this side. Okay. And then you take the magnets it comes with, these two neodyne magnets that are holy crazy hella strong. Let's see if we can get one off this way. Holy smokes. Okay, let's hold on a second here. Okay, we're going to have to do something to separate these. Just stay there for a second. I'm ready to just hold on again here. All right, I'm back. I got them apart. Little hint when you're doing this. Do not let the magnets touch each other. You'll have a hell of a time getting them apart. I could not get them apart with my fingers. I had to go get pliers, and even then was a bitch getting them in the pliers. These things are really strong. So what you want to do is just get it lined up in the hole. And there you go. That one's in. I put the other one in my shirt pocket so I wouldn't accidentally touch them again. 
that one's in place. Now, normally there should be like a little mark on here where the old rubbers hit, but there isn't on this one. So what I'm gonna have to do is figure out where exactly they match. This one's pretty easy to see. So I'm gonna start that one. I'm gonna do a little something to line these up. So I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and I got this side on. It matches up. This one, I, I drilled them both. I had to use an, a right angle drill, air drill. <coughs> and a teeny tiny little drill bit. There you go. Just a drill bit smaller. I, I went about half the size of the shaft of the screw because they're really only biting into the skin of this. So I didn't, I wanted them to be snug. So what we're gonna do, so take this one. And you can see the screw sits flush. There's a bit of a countersink there. Using my teeny Turner Pickwick screwdriver. Rarely get to use it, but works perfect here because there's not a lot of room to get a full-size screwdriver in. So, we'll get it started here if we can. I swear, today is one of those days where everything that could go wrong does go wrong. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll mention that in another video, but it's just been a very frustrating day where I had a whole bunch of stuff I wanted to get done today. It was supposed to get done, and I did everything I was supposed to do, but other people didn't, so I couldn't get things done. Um, just ended up ruining my whole day. But at least I'm getting this done. There we go. My screws are in there. Beautiful. Nice and snug but can still be opened. Notice in this one the magnet comes with it. That's rather odd. Let's try it this way. That's in there pretty secure. I can take my key and, and lock this handle so it doesn't flop around. Um, but that's for another time. At least I got something done today. It wasn't a total loss. So. There we go. And that's not going to come open. That's stuck pretty good. So there you go. 20 bucks. The quick, dirty, and easy way to fix your Volkswagen Jetta Mark IV glove box. If anybody has any questions, just go ahead and ask below. Um, yeah, that's about it. I don't really have much to add. Um, I'll put a, put a link down below to where I got the little magnet screw set. Um, yeah, I'll just put a link below in case you guys are wondering and need such a thing for yourself. There you go. Looks good. Doesn't look bad at all. Looks much better than this thing stuck to the side. That's it. So thanks for watching. Take care and have a great day.